Today we will be tackling a favorite sequence of mine that includes some new variations of some moves seen in my other tutorials. I love this sequence because it helps us drill some common moves in a different way than we are used to, which will keep us feeling inspired. Here is the full sequence. Underarm sunrise, to anchor side neck spin, to lead side neck spin, to the exit of a dragon necklace wrap shot combo. If you are having trouble with any of these individual moves, I highly suggest working on those before attempting this sequence. Let us begin. First, let's learn this sunrise variation. If we feel comfortable with the under the leg sunrise, we will easily be able to execute this version. Let's practice the under the leg sunrise at least once. We will notice that we are letting go of all of our rope. This will change slightly during the underarm sunrise. We will keep holding on to approximately this amount of slack. We will then direct the rope so that it goes under our lead armpit and over our lead shoulder. We implement the same footwork as the other sunrise in order to push the rope to travel under our anchor armpit. As we move the dart onto each arm, we will loosen the slack a bit more, but not let go completely. We will continue to hold on to this smaller amount of slack while we are in this underarm sunrise. Let's try this. As we pivot, we make sure to land a full 180 degrees from where we started in wall plane. Okay, sweet. That is kind of a new move in and of itself. Now we are going to transition from this sunrise variation to an anchor side pivoting neck spin. Before we attempt the actual transition, let's practice this neck spin variation on its own. We implement this anchor dominant grip and hold the slack so that the rope in between our hand and the dart comes up to our waist. We will start spinning the dart towards our lead side. Now we are going to basically do the mirror image of the first pivoting neck spin we ever learned, meaning that we will now have the dart contact the anchor side of our neck first, and then pivot towards our lead side. We will land in wall plane 180 degrees from where we started. If this feels new, let's practice and get used to it. Cool. That is a new neck spin variation that we can start implementing during our flow. Now that we have that step, let's go back and see how we can add it in after our new sunrise. We are going to execute our underarm sunrise variation. As soon as the rope lands on our lead arm for the second time, we are going to push it in a figure eight pattern so that the dart starts rotating in front of us. As soon as it does, we stick our neck out and implement the anchor side pivoting neck spin. We then catch the rope with our lead hand. Let's try this. Once we have executed it, let's just get used to this variation by practicing it a few more times. Okay, if we are ready to move on, we can now start examining the next step. I figured out this step by accident and it felt a little awkward at first. I am showing the move from the other angle so that you can see this part. We are simply going to allow the dart to continue rotating around us in the same direction while we hold the slack tight in our anchor hand and keep our feet planted. We want the dart to complete another full circle around us and then catch the rope with our lead hand on the anchor side of our neck. We can give the dart some extra momentum by pushing it with our lead shoulder. Now let's practice the sequence starting from the sunrise until we feel comfortable with it. We should catch the dart while we are still in wall plane and it will now be spinning towards our anchor side. 
Finally, we can move on to the last step. We are going to use the same exit that we learned during the dragon necklace wrap shot combo. In order to get into the same position, we are going to take our lead foot, step forward, and pivot 180 degrees, landing in wall plane, now spinning towards our lead side. We will bring our lead hand close to the back of our neck so that our lead arm looks like it's choking us. Simultaneously, we step back into wheel plane with our lead foot and let go of the rope so that the dart shoots forward. We pivot another 90 degrees back into wall plane. Let's see that one more time. Now let's watch the slow motion of the full sequence. Here is the sequence again in real time. Okay, we made it through this entire sequence. Hopefully these variations will lead to some more innovation and inspiration. Love you guys!